What is up guys? Welcome back to some more Marvel Contest of Champions and this is a small taste of Alliance Quest Map 6. If you're looking for a guide then check out the Alliance Quest Map 6 guide by Vatheris1 where he lays out sections 1, 2, and 3, tells you which nodes might cause you the most difficulties and the best champs to bring for those nodes. But anyways, first up for me was Blue Team Cyclops, which I forgot to record that fight. So next up was Captain Marvel, and she's on a unblockable uh, first and second special. Um, and she has an increased attack, but her special attacks are pretty easy to evade, so didn't have any troubles with this fight. As you can see, um, flawless victory. So next up we have a classic daredevil and he's on a optimist pessimist node so when he's above 75% health and when he's below 25% health he gets a fury gain, armor up and health still. So I just use my X23 for this fight and it's it's over pretty quick. So in this fight we have Star-Lord who is on a plus 100% health as you can see and a combo shield. So if he gets hit his combo doesn't restart but nothing difficult about this fight either. His special attacks are pretty easy to evade especially that first one and it's pretty easy to bait his specials as well. So since I'm out of energy, I take a little break from the game, come back, and the first mini boss is down, who is on a hill block node with increased attack and health and plus 200% power gain. So when I come back, I, I go on to path number six, and I have a Doctor Strange up first who starts with one power bar and he has plus 100 percent health and I try to use X23 to bleed him out real quick but you can see he fills up his power bar gets that third special and luckily that was that wasn't on his increased attack but after that I managed to stack a few bleed debuffs on him and take him out before he reaches his L3 again So this starts the degeneration part of the path where you have Unstoppable Colossus followed by Kamala Khan and then Colossus. So with Unstoppable Colossus he has Adaptive and that lets him cycle between gaining physical resistance and energy resistance every 8 seconds and I actually like 
when they have that because using Doctor Strange I have Mystic Dispersion and each time he loses a buff then I gain um, a certain amount of power I think it's like maybe 12 or percent or something like that I can't remember um, and this degeneration is 0.6% health per second which I don't mind it's easy to gain that health back um, in section 3 I get the starburst degeneration and the amount increases based on the amount of health the opponent loses so as you can see I took out unstoppable colossus and didn't really lose that much health Next we have Kamala Khan, which is another easy fight. I have the class advantage, plus her first and second special are pretty easy to evade. And finally we have Colossus who has some pretty good armor and so it takes a bit longer to, to take him down and I end up losing a decent amount of health by the end of the fight. So now we have Spider-Man, the second mini boss, and he is unblockable for the first six seconds of the fight. So how I imagined it would go was as soon as the fight starts, he just rushes right at me and I get backed into a corner. And before the six seconds is up, I end up getting hit. But you see he backs off and I just keep evading until the unblockable wears off then I stun him and go at him uh, he's has the plus 300 percent power gain which actually helps out a lot makes it a bit easier to push him to that second special uh, you see I'm evading those first specials uh, thank you Dave from dork lessons for teaching me how to do that um, if you don't know what I'm talking about I will leave the link for that video in the description below how to fight spider-man like a ninja um, caught him with a second special intercept right there and my black widow is signature level 59 so she has a 90 percent chance to bypass enemy defenses so he only has about a 2% chance to evade basically and so I just go at him hoping that he doesn't evade he actually does evade at the end of the fight 
but he doesn't land a hit afterwards and I end up pulling off the victory. So this starts the Starburst degeneration and the next six fights for me are all Starburst. Uh, up first is Rhino who I used to have a lot of trouble fighting but then I did the Road to Labyrinth and had to figure out how to fight him correctly in order to get past I think it was chapter 4.5 and basically you just have to keep pressing him, cornering him so that he doesn't have a chance to charge at you and then when he gets to his second special then you back off a little bit so that he to bait that out and then go at him again so as you can see very little trouble fighting him um, it's just that he has so much health and armor it took a while to, to take him down and I lost a good chunk of health. Next up we have Colossus who is a pain on this node and Actually, after this fight, then we have Unstoppable Colossus, which is a, a pain as well because I have to bait out his attack. But in this fight, I actually get lucky towards the end. Um, my cousin sent me a text message and it covered up the health bar, so I couldn't tell how much health he had. I actually should have like paused it and, and swiped away the notification, but I just thought maybe his health was low enough and I fire off my third special. The attack wasn't strong enough to finish the fight and he gets his third special but he doesn't use it and I'm able to finish the fight. So got a little bit lucky there. Thank you. 
So of course we have Unstoppable Colossus right here who's an easy champ to fight. It's just annoying fighting him on this node because one, he gets armor up and two, you have to wait for his Unstoppable to wear off before you can attack him which causes me to lose a little bit of health. Up next is Iron Man, who's a pretty easy fight. Um, it's just when you have to wait to bait a special, then you end up losing a good amount of health. You know, when he's down towards the bottom. Um, good to have Doctor Strange here or somebody else that nullifies his regen or can bypass his regen towards the end. And at this point, uh, quite a few people are KO'd, and I figure there's no, no sense of wasting any more units trying to keep my champs to make it to um, Kang, because all the nodes won't be down, and I won't be able to take them down. So I just decided to go at Magneto and score as many points as I can. So I end up winning this fight with about the same amount of health that I started the fight with, so I was pretty happy about that. So next up is Black Widow and I was hoping to stack, you know, like four or five stacks of bleed on her, but that didn't happen so the fight ran a little bit longer than I hoped and ended up losing a good chunk of health.
So finally we have Agent Venom who doesn't have degeneration but he does have Plague Mind, Plague Mind and Power Gain uh, plus 300 percent and so the Plague Mind actually kind of messed me up with my regen and the 300 uh, percent as you can see wasn't really paying attention too much towards the end of this fight and just pushed them up to that level 3 and I end up bleeding out from that and then I finish him off with Doctor Strange So we tried and we failed. Live and learn. But anyways guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, have a great day and take care.